Hola, good morning Germanians, I'm Joe Warlock, and on today's episode, we are going silent as a ninja, stealthy as an assassin, sneakier than a secret agent, and other such things involving S. Yes, it is, a box. it's August, and the theme is stealth. The A-Box is a monthly subscription box dropping in at £29 plus your shipping and handling. So a little bit more expensive than some boxes, but so far the two I've had have definitely been worth it. And we're not going to waste any time. We're going to open this up, cutting away from myself so I don't get told off in the comments, and see what we have inside. And the first item is... Today is Force Friday. Unless you're still on Thursday or in Saturday, in which case it's not. But we're going to pretend that it's still Force Friday. And what better way to celebrate than making your sandwich in under 12 parsecs shaped like a Millennium Falcon. Yes, this is a Millennium Falcon pouch sandwich shaper. What? I've never seen one of these before. And I'm pretty sure Disney are just putting the name on anything now. But just look at that sandwich. How delicious does that look? I mean, who doesn't want to eat a sandwich shaped like the Millennium Falcon? That is absolutely crazy. If you've got kids, this is amazing. Because they're like everyone's going to be jealous because they're going to be eating Millennium Falcon sandwiches. And if you haven't got kids, don't worry. You can still look awesome by having Millennium Falcon sandwiches in your office. Who doesn't want that? Also, you can reenact the scene with the Exogore from Star Wars. And this time, the Millennium Falcon doesn't escape your mouth when it mistakes it for a cave. Next up, we have... They say in space, no one can hear you scream. And that's probably because you ran out of phone credit. But never fear, never run out of phone credit again. But this Alien Covenant phone card wallet holder. Yep, there you go. So you've always got your phone card on you to top up with this Alien Covenant phone card holder. More things with... The name's Bond. James Bond. And I have to say my surname first because I've obviously got completely blotted on martinis apparently. But this is the Lotus Esprit S1007 Submarine Keychain. Interesting. Let's just have a quick look. Oh, yes. I remember this. I like the keychains they do in these because they're actually, well, usually metal and heavy. So they're actually a bit more valuable than the sort of plasticky, gimmicky ones you get. And I love keychains. As we all know, if you follow this channel, I really like keychains. So this is nice. The Lotus Esprit appeared in the Roger Moore film. Kind of the year, 1970-something. The Spy Who Loved Me. Um, he was a James Bond that divided people quite a lot. Most of them do, but he really did. There was also a fantastic game on the Amiga called The Spy Who Loved Me, which featured this car, and it was so hard, but brilliant. And if you ever get a chance, find that game and play it. It is just so much fun. Or at least it was. I may be living in nostalgia. But hey, that's fine. Let's grab more things with... Ooh, there's another box. Is this... Ah, yes. You see, a box have a few things in the normal box, and then there's a smaller box which contains more items. So let's open this one up and see what we have. And the first thing appears to be a t-shirt. Yes, it is. It's a t-shirt. Oh. If you are a true nerd, a true geek, a true lover of this weird culture that we all love, then this is a t-shirt for you. You fell victim to one of the classic blunders. That is Vizzini from The Princess Bride, which is such a brilliant film. And features Andre the Giant, who was absolutely awesome. He was the kind of person I used to watch when I like, watched wrestling. But yeah, Vizzini played by, oh, Sean Wallace, possibly, who was the voice of Rex in Toy Story. There you go, good connection. I might be wrong on the name, so correct me if I am. But that is awesome, you fell victim. To one of the classic blunders it's a brilliant line from the film and i don't want to say too much in case you haven't seen it and it will spoil that scene but that for me is awesome anything princess bride based is awesome to be fair if you've not seen the princess bride we cannot be friends well we can but you need to go and watch it right now and to prove how good it is it's been inducted into the american national registry of films so it's like going to be saved forever it's up there with 2001 a space odyssey alien uh oh Thousands of other amazing films. Casablanca, The Wizard of Oz, things like this. That's how good it is. And as always, t-shirt about a tenner. Our next item is... Ooh, this is different. <laughs> a 
in a few short weeks, I guess, a new Lego movie is out. Lego Ninjago movie. And if you don't know, Ninjago is all about ninjas and giant mechs, and it's by Lego. Lego is a company formed in 1949 and is currently the biggest manufacturer of toys in the world, which is mind-boggling when you think of all the toys out there. This is a Ninjago movie ninja. And he appears to have an LED torch in his foot. Because that's what we've been missing from Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan movies. Ninjas with torches in their feet. That's it. That's the only thing that's ever been missing. It's weird. It's a keyring. And I like keyrings. And I like things that are quirky. And this is definitely quirky. I mean, I'm never going to use this. But I'll probably give it away to someone like my nephew. And I think he'll probably love it. It is actually kind of cool. Next up, we have something in a round thing. And it is... Remember fidget spinners when they were a thing for about a day? Because they just seem to have gone, well, everyone get a fidget spinner, they're amazing. And then it was, nobody cares about fidget spinners anymore. But now you can have your own fidget spinner, stealth spinner. And I've seen these. And these are not cheap. This is a, oh, I think this is an Aventador fidget spinner, which I've seen go for $60, which is mad. And these have like a ridiculous spinning time. So I'm just going to have a quick check. Yeah, that is an amazing. As far as I'm aware, these spin for an insane amount of time. I thought I'd spin this, and I've actually been here for about two minutes. So, um, yeah, it's still spinning. That is crazy, and it's, like, metal, which is... I don't know, that's mad, but I got completely mesmerised for that. And forgot I was doing a video. Yes, a stealth fidget spinner. Why not? I was going to say, that's everything. And then I spotted something else. In a few short days, husbands will lose wives... Girlfriends will lose boyfriends because they will all be facing Gary or Gull. Something beginning with G because Destiny 2 will be upon us. Side note, I will be unboxing that on the day it comes out because I've got the collector's edition on its way. Aha, that was just... Sorry, but my girlfriend's going to lose me for a long time while I play that game. And we have a Cade 6 decal from Destiny 2. If you've never played Destiny, it is a great game. It is flawed, but the sequel looks amazing. Cade is a fantastic character. Think the quirky humour of Deadpool, but more heart and humanity, but fighting aliens. That's the best way I can put it. Okay, let's recap everything we got in that box. Ninjago Movie Ninja LED Light. Completely random. It is stealthy. I probably won't use it, but it's going to make a good gift for someone. A Star Wars Millennium Falcon Sandwich Shaper. I don't know why, but that makes me smile so much. There are some weird things with Star Wars names on. That is pretty high up there but it's also because who doesn't want to eat a millennium falcon shaped star wars sandwich i mean that's awesome we have a james bond lotus esprit keyring which i've just noticed actually says featured in the spy who loved me could have saved me brain power and just read the box alien covenant phone card holder because who doesn't need one of these i mean i don't but you might and you could use it for credit cards or anything that seems like probably one of the weakest items in the box i don't know what it's worth but it is something that was obviously given away as a promotional item with the film. A Cade 6 Destiny 2 decal. Bit of a weird item this one, but I like it because Destiny 2 and it's and it's and it's Cade. Cade's an awesome character and it's Destiny. That that's that's fine by me. But whether you like it or not, I don't know. Maybe they could have put something a bit more interesting destiny-wise in there. Just a thought. A stealth fidget spinner Aventador. That is crazy money. Like these are crazy, crazy money if it is the fidget spinner I'm thinking of. So that's more than the value of the box right there. And a Princess Bride t-shirt, because it's the Princess Bride. And Vizzini was an amazing character. <laughs> it's the Princess Bride. I mean, wow. Okay. Um, when you look at it, it doesn't look like there's a lot there. But given that's got a huge amount of value, that's probably like a fiver. Those two, I don't know what they're worth. You're probably going to pay eight quid or so for that. That's another fiver or so. £10 for the t-shirt. £30-odd box. The value's probably there. I'm just not sure that the Destiny 2 item was the strongest. But it's not a bad box. It's interesting, if nothing else. But, of course, I want to know your thoughts. So, let me know. What do you think of A-Box? What do you think of the theme stealth? What's a good item? A bad item? What could they have done better? Let me know in the comments below. If you do want to grab yourself an A-Box, I will leave a link down below in the description. That was August's A-Box theme, stealth. And next month, horror. Which could be awesome because it is coming out and i really like the look of that i love the original 
but this looks kind of cool. I've been Jar Warlock, and if you want to know when I upload videos, you can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, all at Jar Warlock. So thank you for watching, guys. If you enjoyed, please hit that like button, because it really helps me out. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? Because why not? You might find something you like. In the meantime, though, and most importantly, be happy, be free, keep it awesome, and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.